All right, guys. So the question must be asked for the full power category. Super Saiyan 4, you know, ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? His category is a full power category. On this category, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the hardest hitter on the team, bar none. Because uh, unless LR Super Vegito transforms, there's not a unit who's going to be dealing more damage than this guy, right? So if he's on the category, instantly he's the hardest hitter on the team. That's just the way it works. Now, this category is very difficult in terms of fielding the right units uh, to allow him to get that 18 key super consistently. Now, the reason for this is Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku because he does not have over and a flash. If this guy had over and a flash, the whole game would be different. Everything, nothing would be the same. This guy would, it would just be a nightmare. But as the team is constituted right now, it's very difficult to get like all the right over and a flash units on the team with this Goku to consistently get him that 18 key super. Because if Goku does not get that 18 key super, it's just not going to work. Now, the little shining light here is that besides the full power category, uh, this Goku does also give a buff, I believe, to super tech types. Uh, HP, attack, and defense 90%. So the units that you're bringing, they're not exactly going to be doing a shit ton of damage. But you could bring units that could, you know, be, for example, very good support type units. So that's kind of the build I'm working with right here. So let's go ahead and jump into an event. Uh, right now, I'm kind of waiting for... Wait, what is this? Oh, it, I guess the events changed. Okay, <laughs> Well, let's hop right back in then. Uh, the, I'm waiting for uh, all of the boss events to go live uh, on JP. Uh, I think that happens in a day or two. Uh, that is always nice when that happens because then I could just, you know, go to any single Dokkan Fest I want to to kind of test this out. Uh, so here we are. Let's go ahead and hop into the event. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This is a perfect first rotation uh, in showing exactly what I wanted to right here for uh, this LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So basically this whole video here is going to be based upon can he work on this team. Now, if you have this 40% support TN, he is really, really helpful for this because you could put him here on rotation with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and he's gonna be getting six key no matter what. Every single turn, this boy will be getting six key. Now this Trunks right here, this GT Trunks, Remember back in the day when this guy was maybe the worst SSR you could pull off of banners? It's different now. Uh, this guy, after awakening, is pretty good. He gives SCR types and tech types uh, two key and 25% attack and defense. So the two rotations we're going to have is we're going to have a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and an LR Broly. And then we're going to have the TN and then the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This Trunks will be able to support all those tech units as well as LR Broly who will be on a main rotation and then the floaters will be Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku will have the trunks and then one of the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus which should lead to a very cohesive sort of team build here now there's a couple other units you know I could toss in and out here to try in like obviously LR Gohan is tremendously powerful you know I would like to try and find some sort of builder okay so just casual 6.1 million damage you know, no biggie. Goodbye. This is going to do like a, a billion. Yeah. So I did uh, just casual 15 million. And nothing crazy or anything. Just a casual 15 million having two different support type units there. So Trunks, I believe he was able to give LR Super Saiyan 4, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, excuse me. Uh, he gave him four key. Two from his passive and two from Shattering Limit. And then Tiana is able to give him six key. So uh, is my Goku better? Yes, my Goku does appear to be better. I also am probably... Uh, actually gonna jump back in on that Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner. I did the Dragon Ball video earlier today, and I had some pretty nasty luck with the summons. Uh, <laughs> so much so that I wrote the title of the video, Final Summons for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but I'm very annoyed that I have not pulled even one fucking dupe of Omega Shenron. Because of this, I'm probably gonna hop back in that banner, and I might just rainbow Super Saiyan 4 Goku, fuck it. I I'm... I'm Kind of leaning to... If you guys want me to do that, let me know. Maybe I'll do a, a stream uh, later tonight or tomorrow, uh, depending on what you guys say. But uh, I probably will do... I'll definitely do at least a couple summons. 
on the LR banner that should be coming uh, in a couple days as well. Depending on what the banner looks like, I might really only do a few multis. Uh, because if there's not a lot of units I like, don't have or don't have a ton of dupes on, I'm certainly not going to go too crazy on that banner. Because, you know, as you guys might know, I have the uh, LR Super Vegeta and Super Gogeta rainbowed. So I may not have a lot of value personally in summoning on that banner. We'll see. Now, one of the problems with this build, uh, and this is probably the big problem with, you know, the full power team, what the eventual optimal full power team is going to look like, is you're going to take a lot of damage, especially having that TN in that first slot. You're going to get fucked up. TN is going to get fucked up. Now, as a consequence, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be handing out 10 million damage shots. But <laughs> you are probably going to be getting bodied on this rotation, and then maybe even on the following rotation as well with LR Broly. You know, LR Broly is not exactly a defensive god himself, so he's going to take a whole hell of a lot of damage. And on top of that, the, le the more damage you take, the weaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku gets. So there's just problems all around for this team. But, like, if you kind of construct it in this way, you certainly can maximize LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku's potential. So let's say you don't have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, but you do have, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Somebody out there has LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but you don't have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Well, this is the kind of team build you could probably try to maximize LR Goku since you don't have Bardock, right? But obviously, you know, it is simple. It is fucking child's play to almost every single turn get that 18 key super uh, on the Super Saiyan 3 team. That is just the best place for him. All right, so we got the one bad rotation. Uh, very, very rarely we're going to have this happen right here where uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to be at the end. Uh, we're going to be 17 key. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's not a whole hell of a lot you could do. This is why, personally, I probably won't be running this team very often uh, with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku on. I probably won't. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Ooh, 1.2 million right there. Wow, that's, that was pretty good considering that's a 12 key super. Uh, I will probably rainbow Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, uh, cause he'll be very effective on this team, uh, serving as a bridge with all of his good key links, right? Uh, and I'm, you know, probably gonna rainbow, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. You know, we'll see, I'll kinda try and, like, continue to toy around with this category, but it's definitely just flat out gonna need more units. Uh, that's just the way it is. The team is just gonna need more units before it is capable of being, like, a really fun team. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and use an item right here. Because my Super Kaioken, he's only 1% in the dupe system, I think Super 17 probably could kill him. Uh, Super 17, low-key, is still a pretty annoying fight. Like, he could do uh, over 100k with a super attack, like, even on, like, newer era units. Super 17, uh, among, like, all of the 120% lead fights, is probably the toughest... Uh, cause Janemba is just very gimmicky, but you know, you could, in like, kill him very quickly with the Super Saiyan Link active. Int Gogeta is nothing crazy. Angel Tech Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 is cooler. I guess Int Kibu can be annoying sometimes. Uh, but I would probably say Super 17 is the hardest of the bunch. And then, like, the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks fight, he's, he's a joke. Uh, so, I certainly would love if Kaioken Goku, you know, with that medium chance to dodge, <laughs> thank you, my boy, uh, could get some of them dodges going. Okay, so here we go. We got a lot of tech-type key on the board, my boy. Uh, so, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku should go ahead and finish this off. Again, very good rotation for him with two different tech support units here on the, the, the rotation. So, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be getting, you know, the 5 million attack set, the 6 million attack set. The 7 million attack stat, obviously I'm thinking that's something that we're pretty much only going to see on the Super Saiyan 3 team. You know, if you have like a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive support ability active, 6.4, that's very, that's, that's very damn good. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. Uh, 6.4 million attack stat is very fucking good. And that 18 key super, correct me if I'm wrong, is a physical attack. So he just did 2 million damage on Super 17's barrier. Like, 
Uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Do not fucking sleep on this man because he is a beast. Let me actually confirm that. Uh, is this 18 key super? Yeah, it's a physical attack. I thought so. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you all go. Uh, all right. So, here, I'm, I'm not really too concerned about getting a super at that first Goku. We'll just have uh, LR Broly go ahead and sweep them. So, another build of the team that could work is going, like, all prepared for battle. Uh, oh, we're going to get the counter animation. Nice. I love this animation right here. That shit is so clean, bro. Goodbye, Vegeta. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Damn, that counter animation. That is... That's definitely the most stylish of all the counter animations. I love, too. They did really take that right out of the anime. See, that's the thing. Like, Dokkan just continues to improve. Like, I I love Dragon Ball Legends so much. I will support the fuck out of Dragon Ball Legends for the simple reason of they really made Dokkan get their asses into gear. So, for that, I fuck very heavily with Dragon Ball Legends. <laughs> A lot of people... A lot of people, you know, it's like they go back and forth. They pick and choose, like, oh, Legends or Dokkan. Nah, not me, bro. It's like, yo, praying hands together for Dragon Ball Legends because it improved the shit out of Dokkan. And, hey, hopefully, you know, if Dokkan continues to do good, that will cause the team working on Legends to step it up as well to match Dokkan. Uh, competition is a good thing, not a bad thing. So, woo <laughs> I mean, yeah, here you go, guys. You get <laughs> this guy does more damage than like a rotation of ridiculous hard hitters by himself anyway so that's the thing like you get that 18 key super with him and <laughs> 6.5 million crits and shit like that is what you're gonna see uh it, it, it's just it's it's very good i i i want to see i like the team but i i really don't I, there just seems to be more units i, I swear if they just give us the Tournament of Power Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku. That will change a lot of the issues that me and many others have with this team. Because that will be a unit that could have Shocking Speed. He could have Prepare for Battle. He could have Over and a Flash. Either Shattering Limit or Fierce Battle would be good for him. Because he could be good for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Or he could have Fierce Battle, which would link with, like, you know, everyone else on the team. So we'll see. Uh, again, if they had, like, an Ultra Instinct Goku that could be on this damn team... That would be very helpful as well because he's one of those bridge type units that has prepared for battle and over in a flash. Uh, there's many possible upgrades that could be coming in the future. Uh, and we're... Wow. So we get to this man super... We get to Int Gogeta here at the end. And I don't think we're going to be able to get an 18 key super. Ain't that a bitch. 17. We got a 17 key super. So on the rotations... The last two times, wow, okay, Tien is taking a monstrous amount of damage right there. Yikes, my boy. Uh, there's, yeah, there's the other negative again. <laughs> Whoa, Tien. Relax. I mean, we're going to be good because LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they're not going to take damage. But, oh, goodness, Tien. Tien, my boy. <laughs> Alright, so when Goku swings around onto this rotation the last two times, we have missed super attacks. So, well, 18 key supers with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, that, that's why, like, really, if you want to use him and maximize him, Super Saiyan 3 team, still the way to go. Absolutely. Uh, no debate about that. And I don't... I don't the team was, like, designed for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? Like, that's just the way it's going to be. And goodbye, Gogeta. I do love that super attack animation, though. Oh, no, never psych. Oh, <laughs> but we got an additional coming your way, bitch. Only thing, well, I say only thing, but I've, I've had a million uh, things they could Oh, the counter animation again. <laughs> yeah. Ha, <laughs> Gogeta. <laughs> They really should have had this Goku, like, raise attack or defense on his super attack. Fuck, if he raised attack on super, whew, that would be really sick. I do love that mechanic. Like, way more than lowering defense and attack anymore, which all these fucking bosses are immune to anyway. Just have all the good units, like, raise their own shit. Like, raise their own defense, raise their own attack. 
Because, you know, lowering enemies' shit just, just flat out just doesn't work anymore. But, alright guys, here we go. Uh, here's kind of this team build that you could use for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku to get him to work on the full power category team. I don't know how often I would run this build, but it does work, and we know that, you know, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he is still standing at the mountaintop as of right now. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch y'all next time.